Hello. What's going on, young scientist? Hi. I'm trying to make an electric circuit. Electric circuit? Wow. Have you learned that in school? Yeah, a little bit. I have learned that the simplest complete circuit is a piece of wire from one end of a battery to the other. Hmm, yes, an electric current can flow in the wire from one end of the battery to the other. But nothing useful happens. The wire just gets hot and the battery goes flat. You are right. To do something useful with electric current, we need to put an electrical component into the circuit such as a bulb that can use the current to make something happen. Hmm, very good. You already know quite a lot. Now, let's learn some more. When electric charges move in a wire, we say that an electric current flows in the wire. It's like the way a current of water flows in a river. Yeah, it is like a constant flow of electrons through something. When a wire is connected to each end of the battery, electrons begin to flow from negative to positive. Yeah, from minus to plus. And this flow of electrons is called current. Now look at this. Hey, there is no battery in this. Yeah, if there is no battery, no electricity will flow. So, the first condition for the flow of electricity in a circuit is that there should be something to make the electrons flow. Now look at this second circuit. What is missing? Oh, the circuit is not complete. Correct. This is an incomplete circuit. You need a complete path for the current to flow in. This is called an electric circuit. So, you need some power source like a cell or a battery and you need full circuit for electric charge to flow. Yeah, here it is. Look at my circuit. It has a battery and two bulbs and it is complete with wires. Yeah, it is very good. This kind of circuit is known as simple or series circuit. Oh, so if this is a simple circuit, is this something called complex circuit? Ah, there are two kinds of circuit, series and parallel. So mine is a series circuit. Can you tell me about parallel circuit? <laughs> Hold on my scientist brother. Let's first learn how to draw a circuit on a paper. Oh, it's so simple. You need to make a picture of a battery and the bulb. Yes, it is very simple. But in science, there are symbols for everything. Like for bulb, you draw a symbol like this. Oh, then you need to draw two, as my circuit has two bulbs. And then the symbol for a cell is like this. Oh, just two lines? Now we need to draw lines. To make a circuit, we draw straight lines which take turn at right angles. Now my circuit is complete. It looks so beautiful. Like I told you, this is known as series circuit. Can you remove the wire from one side of the first bulb? Oh no! Both bulbs have gone off. What happened? Everything was in the series. When one part of the series was removed, the circuit becomes incomplete and therefore the current stops flowing. That is why both bulbs stop working. This is the problem with series circuits. Suppose if one bulb gets fused, all bulbs will go off. Is there no use for this kind of circuit? We use this type of circuit in Christmas or Diwali lights. One small bulb after another. But if one of the bulbs goes off, all lights will go off. And yes, there is another disadvantage also. If you will keep increasing the number of bulbs in this circuit, the light of each of the bulb will get dimmer than before. Are there any benefits from this kind of circuit? There 
are two benefits. One, it uses less amount of wires and the second advantage is that if you want a warning that one of the components in the circuit has failed, then the series circuit is used. Now I understand all about this simple circuit. Can you make a parallel circuit? Oh yes, let's make a parallel circuit for you. Like I told you before, it requires more wires than simple circuit. Wow, both bulbs are on. Can you remove one wire from the first? Look, only one bulb has gone off. The second bulb is still on. Okay, now you have understood parallel circuit. Can you draw it on the chart? Oh yes. Here it is. Is it okay? Perfect. Let's clap for your work. Now can you tell me one benefit of parallel circuit? Parallel circuits are useful if you want everything to work even if one component has failed. This is why our homes are wired with parallel circuits. So even if one thing goes off, at least other things will continue to work? You are a genius scientist. I can tell the difference between series and parallel circuit in a very simple way. Can you please pass me the remote? Look, there are two types of highways here. One is a single lane highway and another is a parallel lane highway. A single lane highway is like a series circuit. One car stops and the whole traffic stops. Very good example. And multi-lane highway is like a parallel circuit. Even if a car breaks down, the rest of the cars can keep moving. Very, very good way to compare both the circuits. See, I am a genius. You can also become a genius. You should watch MakeMeGenius.com every day.